All right, welcome back to Everyday Race. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, suspension. Here I've got uh, 2007 Kawasaki ZXNR a rear shock and spring. So uh, both of these components are very important. Uh, if you've got correct settings on your shock, but you have the wrong spring, uh, your bike is not going to ride very good. On the other hand, if your spring is correct, but the shock isn't, once again, uh, the combination of the two isn't going to be uh, very good. So to select correct spring and shock, you kind of need to understand how they both work. Uh, if you do understand that, it, it helps a lot. It helps you a lot to pick up correct parts for your bike. If you understand how they work, it'll also help you understand uh, how to tune the suspension because you can get the best shock out there and correct spring and uh, you wouldn't understand how to set correct preload on the spring and you wouldn't understand how to set correct uh, rebound or compression on the shock. And even the best parts require tuning, adjusting to your particular uh, setup of your bike. So today I'm just going to uh, touch bases about the, uh, the spring. Basically what I look for when I, uh, I'm looking for a correct spring is I, I look for two things. Uh, first I look at the uh, correct spring rate of the shot uh, of the spring and the second thing is I look for a correct length because you can get the same you can uh, you can get two springs one of them is longer by an inch and they both have the same spring rate uh, by the time you said preload uh, one of them is going to be too firm and the other one's going to be just right so what is the spring rate Spring rate is uh, how much? Well, well, let's say this spring, for example. Spring rate for this spring is 8.3 kilograms per millimeter. What that means is that if you put uh, 8.3 kilograms of uh, weight on the spring, it's going to compress one millimeter. If you put 800, uh, let's say, if you put 83 kilograms of a uh, weight on the spring, it's going to compress. 10 millimeters so uh, they also rate these uh, in pounds per inch so all you have to do is you have to multiply uh, kilograms per millimeter number uh, by 56 and you'll have pounds per inch uh, ratings of the spring so 8.3 times 56 would be roughly 465 pounds per inch um, they're just two different ratings they mean exact same thing so if you're comfortable with uh, 400 if you're comfortable with pounds per inch uh, just keep using that if you like kilograms per mil per millimeter go with that but uh, most of the people I deal with uh, they usually use pounds per inch, you know, and sometimes they just call, you know, hey, I need a 450 pound spring. What they really mean is they need a spring that's 450 pounds per inch. So what that means is that if you put 450 pounds of weight on the spring, it's going to compress by one inch. If you put 900 pounds, which is 450 plus 450, it's going to compress the spring by two inches. So as, as long as you understand what that means. So the, the reason I mentioned the length is because there are many ways you can get it. You can get a, you can get a lighter spring that's a little bit longer and, uh, or you can get a shorter spring that's, that has a higher spring rate. And when you set preload on both of them, they'll have the same preload pounds per inch let's say <clears throat> let's say they'll have like 500 pounds but 
if you put 600 pounds on the shock, uh, they're going to behave differently. A lighter spring is going to be more comfortable and it's going to give you a softer ride. And a sh uh, shorter spring with a higher spring rate is going to give you a firmer ride. Um, not as comfortable, but some of us don't care about the comfort, we just care about the performance. <coughs> so, basically, this episode uh, is pretty much all I want to talk about is just the spring. In the next episode, uh, we'll get more into details uh, of the suspension. Uh, I'm just going to use my bike for an example. I need to find correct spring for it anyway so we'll do calculations together and uh we'll see how it works out so thank you for watching and come back for uh part two